What's going on guys? So today I actually didn't plan on shooting a video at all. However, I was looking through my schedule and through my deep work session this morning, I realized that there's probably a lot of valuable insight I can provide. It's just super easy by just kind of following along. So that's what we're going to do today. Uh, right now I have my deep work session, which I'll break down. I'm going to go for a walk and then I have my first sales call at 11.30 and then I have an an account management meeting with the team at 12.30. I then have a meeting at 3 with the sales management team, scheduling team, and then I have a call at 4 with our COO to talk about 2023 salaries, bonuses, uh, really just going into financials and stuff like that. So. So for today's deep work session, um, this is gonna last about an hour and a half. To start, what I'm doing is I'm following up with potential clients um, that we've had sales calls with. These are either clients from coming in from ads or clients from referrals that were just walking down the line to become a client. Obviously right now it's December, as you guys know. Bringing in clients in December can be a little bit harder because people are in this like sort of holiday mindset but as long as you have good follow-up um, educated sort of follow-up and you can even tie in a good offer to it um, you should get people to take action so just know that um, but yeah just to start I'm following up with a bunch of people that I'm literally trying to bring on next week at the latest I'm following up with a big partner of ours just in terms of an email blast that we created just getting their final feedbacks on that. And then lastly, from yesterday's calls, I was able to get ideas for our agency. So I'm always thinking about ways to innovate. And so yesterday on some sales calls, I had some clients, specifically one client that's, this has happened over and over again, but they're very interested in how some of our clients are able to close $10,000 deals. And so what I wrote down is let's interview our clients that are closing 10K deals and up, interview them, ask them questions on how they're doing it, get their permission to provide it in our, in our agency training and then have that solid training for clients who are thinking, man, how are these guys doing that? How are they adding 10K plus deals for their office? And now it's direct real insight from clients that are actually doing it from our program. See how Saw that is, see how beneficial that is for the potential client is in, in terms of even a sales um, prop. So just things like that. Just kind of putting my ideas into motion. All right, guys. So just finished up with my morning work session. However, I do want to emphasize the importance of reading. Now, I know a lot of people say, you know, you should read. However, I just want to be extremely um, direct with you guys on selecting the right books to read and then being able to read them and then reflect back to your business. This literally is how I come up with most of my ideas. I learn from other people and their frameworks and I always reflect back to the business. And through that comparison, I literally come up with ideas. So I'm just going to be straightforward. Pick the right books. Principles, for example, it's going to teach you how to make decisions, how to not be so soft how to really run your organization and your life. And then a quick book, Mindset Really Is Everything. This is a 20 page book that I've probably read 50 times. Whenever you're feeling soft or you need to uh, really just kind of trust your vision, uh, read this because it will enforce positive thinking as a man thinketh. All right, so we're on, um, a morning walk today, obviously I'm doing 75 hard, um, taking a little break from the gym. However, what I do wanna do is share some insight on why I do this program. I do this program legit for business growth. That is why I do it. I don't do it for muscle gain or anything like that. I do it for business growth. And so one thing is a program or a routine that you can have that dials in 
your fitness, dials in your education in terms of reading, you're not drinking, you're hydrated, you're eating right. It creates a solid foundation for you to make strong decisions from. And so in business, it's all about being super confident, being very decisive, seeing ways to innovate and make chess moves and having the balls to actually do it with a clear head. And so your ability to build an agency and then continue to scale it, you're gonna reach a lot of plateaus in that scaling. And so each plateau you hit, there's gonna be a whole new puzzle to solve, which is gonna require you to have a, no, a whole new set of skill sets and ideas. And the way I overcome them is I man the fuck up, I get sober, I get my shit in order in terms of my routine, I start reading, I start becoming obsessed with learning and finding solutions, I reflect back to the business, and just over time, it just gets more raw and more raw. And right now, I'm in a place of unstoppable. Like, that's just the vibe. That's how days are right now, is wake up, unstoppable. Feeling great, energy's great. So, yeah, do 75 hard, do something. But if you really wanna scale, that's, it all starts with you as the CEO, being responsible and, uh, and making decisions from a solid, solid foundation. All right, guys, so let's start, let's jump over to talking business, agency shit, which is why most of you guys probably follow me and watch my videos. Now I wanna talk about what the most important thing is in your agency, which is the foundation of the agency in terms of how long you're gonna last and what the future looks like for you. And that is client results. The foundation is client results. The results you get for your client, the service that you deliver and the results that that service gets. And so you need to find out what are you hired on and what are you fired on and what KPIs are you judged on? For us, we're judged on number of appointments through the door and revenue. That's a fact. And so we know all the averages in our company from all of our clients. And so we know that the future depends on us continuing to strengthen those numbers and to innovate on those numbers or else you're a sitting duck. So the foundation is gonna be, you need to find out what the KPIs are. Your team needs to be relentless on innovation. You should be always testing new strategies and finding ways to make the boat go faster to improve those numbers since you are tracking them. You should be tracking them. Everyone should be bonused upon the improvement of those numbers, which are the, the numbers that your clients are getting. Because at the end of the day, if you build a super good service that is really good at getting the best results in those KPIs that you're being judged on, all the clients are gonna flow to you anyways because you're the best. So that's pretty much my, my ramble right now is don't, don't take client results lightly. Track your clients' averages, know what your clients actually care about, and then relentlessly trying to innovate and build a culture around innovating those KPIs. All right guys, so quick chest workout, literally five minutes long, absolute killer. It's 30 seconds on of push-ups, 30 seconds off, 30 seconds on. Each variation of push-ups, you wanna slightly differentiate. Wide grip, close grip, triangle, slow, down, up. You got it, here we go. Cool, cool, cool. All right, then next, um, you worked with three companies in the last 12 months. I know one of the major problems is uh, essentially, you know, your, your staff not being able to follow up. Is there any other things that have been a problem for you? No, again, when I've had staff who are on top of it, um, it's worked well. When they're not on top of it, it doesn't work so well. Pretty straightforward. Sounds good. Yeah, so our, our fee is fixed. Right. Ad spend is, is that's, that's, the, that's, the, that's the fuel behind the, the appointments. We can start off at 1500 We can start off at 2500 
we start at 1500 and go to 2500 in 30 days. All right. Um, all right. Let's start. Let's start with the power. All right. This thing. I don't want to start the program until mid-January. Um, That's fine. You know, we just take this time off and stuff like that. So uh, that'll give us a monthly middle set up and coach my staff and stuff like that. Are you coaching your staff on like how to treat patients or what? I mean, how to handle the bleeds and stuff like that. Get them up to speed. Well, they, they, your staff is literally needs to do almost nothing. Like all they're doing is. That's the way I like it. <laughs> so if, if you want to be about, if you want to, if you want to be real with you, the reason why our company blew up is because we literally removed absolutely as many things as possible from our clients and their staff's plates and just, just let us do it. And that's why, <laughs> that's why we're the number one company. Cause we make, we understand that like the more turnkey, the more, Hey, we do all this. You just do that. The better it is, the more sustainable it is, the less pointy fingers there are. We love it that way, to be honest. Yeah, it takes, it takes a little headache. All right. So, um, we'll start with the power program and we'll start, uh, with turnkey in January 15th. Okay. So what we need to do is, um, <laughs> let's book an onboarding call. What this is going to do is basically block out, um, your area for client exclusivity. Give me one second here. Just go over the scorecard real quick. Um, it's basically the same stuff, guys, right? Uh, we know churn is going to be one of our huge biggest focal points. Now, what we're going to even track even further, which means you're in the mix, is you have like client churn rate, you have campaign churn rate, but what we're going to track is revenue churn rate, which is so important for us, right? Like at the end of the day, like if we're really tracking growth, we need to know how much money came in, how much money came out. Because it looks weird when it's like, yeah, we had a 4% churn, for example, and we brought in a decent amount of clients and then we're still breaking even. So it's kind of like, all right, what's going on here, right? Um, is that interesting to you guys like tracking the revenue churn too? Yeah, I'd love to see it. Yeah. yeah. Next, um, referrals, activations, upsells. We just closed a client right now, Steven Jensen referral. So shout out to you guys on that. Uh, got it. So since we know account management, the number one thing is like client churn, average monthly revenue, that, that, that metric on average monthly, which is that all kind of correlates. And then we're going to be tracking revenue churn. We understand that relationship is super vital. Cookies, all that experience is super vital, but the 15 plus shows is like, that's the foundation of it all. Right. And so ideally the type of culture shift that I'm trying to create is like, we're almost in this startup mentality where it's like, if everyone's exposed to what the main goal is and everyone's ideas and opinion and opinions are welcome, the more brains and, and you guys looking into it, and just the more we look at it, I think the more ideas and opportunities appear. And so you guys even going in and listening to calls and stuff, like you said, you're learning stuff. We might start to catch on to some things quicker, right. And how, and how we can improve it and stuff. Um, that's basically like what my overall goal right now is, is, is for everyone to come together and like, look at the show thing from a different angle, you know, and kind of see if you can start to notice ideas and things like that. Does that make sense? Yep. Um, <clears throat> hey dog, how's it going? Good. How are you? Doing great. Yeah. So what I'm trying to understand is what are you currently doing to get new patients in? You work with two companies. What, what's, what's the current situation look like right now for you? The only marketing we've done for decompression is internal marketing and um, some Facebook games. That's it. And um, I mean, like even today, um, let me see. Uh, we had we had three people uh, today uh, scheduled, and uh, nobody, none of them came. They even scheduled to come in, but they didn't come in. Got it. Um, so you know, the leads aren't great. So you're getting you're you're having a really hard show problem. That's your problem right now, right? That's a big part of it. Yeah, I'd say about fifty percent of the people that say they're gonna come in don't show up. You say about 50? Yeah. Yeah, that's not good. Program, this initial program is 3,000 or 3,500. And then your retention on the back end is very good to where you keep them as a patient. Yeah. You need to roll that into, you need to justify that into your, your, your marketing ROI. It's like saying, sure. it's like saying for our company, the same thing. Like, you know, like our, our patient, our client to us, our client to us gross is 30,000. It's right. not, it's not just, it's not, it's not yeah. yeah. So we're, um, I have to roll into a meeting with an attorney right now. Um, can you send me a copy of that 90 day contract if you have one? Otherwise I'll have to, uh, you know, like see what, the, what it says. Do you have something you can email me? Yeah, I can, I can, uh, I can show you basically a contract. Is that well, it? If you, send that, if you send that to me, um, I can give you a call back later. Is that tomorrow? I just have to get to this meeting. This deposition. Yeah, let's, um, all right, I'm going to text you. All right, thank you. All right. All right, guys. So today was actually very busy at six o'clock. I'm about to finish up my last call at six 30, have a call sales call from Facebook ads. However, brought on some clients, had some really deep conversations. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I do gotta finish this up, prepare for my day tomorrow before I run to salsa dance class lessons at 7.30. Then from there, I'm gonna be tired, go to bed, run it back tomorrow. Q&A in the bottom, like, subscribe. Hope you guys like it. I'm here for y'all.